it's such a frivolous reason. It's such a frivolous. I, I, I mean, I've been driving on going on six fucking years. You know what I'm saying? And I never have I experienced it. So I'm not for actually talking and being on my phone, but actually scrolling in it while I'm waiting to see something. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. We talk about the reason why they put me home, but they probably will last stricter, like, really, period. Shape World back in the building. <laughs> coming off of a... Coming off of a good conversation with, uh... With you, uh, concerning, uh... Awesome Trucker. But, uh, you're... You're back now... You reached out to me because you want to talk about your experience with a certain trucking company. Now, before you get into yeah. that, that, before you get into that, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I, mm -hmm. I was really, truly surprised at, uh, at the route you was going or still going uh, as far as your continued trucking career. So I'm going to leave the floor to you and uh, talk to us. What happened? No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Well, and thank you for having me on again. Okay. Um, I took myself to Maverick Transportation because I wanted to start out 2023 a different year, a different lane. And I noticed I've never done open deck before. And y'all seen me go back and forth from my trouble, my 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 struggles with other companies and certain lanes. So I wanted to be in open deck, and because open deck, like open door people, they be home more. So being at home was the number one thing for me. You know, switching lanes. So I come out here to Little Rock, Arkansas. Yeah, I know where Little Rock main main station is. And I get started, I get rolling here, I get all excited, right? And mess around and you sit home for something very, very in my in my head frivolous. All right. So let's uh let's let's roll it back. Um 2023, new year, new lane. Uh what made you decide it to go flatbed? I mean, I know you're I, I know you 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 done reefer, you 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 done uh leasing, you done dry van uh what what made you what what made you what gave you the inspiration to go flatbed well we're really number one is chasing money you know chasing money and a reefer goes through is down period definitely in january and february um december january kind of goes through this down period so you know you out here you busting your ass and you don't make no money really especially if you're leasing Especially with the fuel prices being the way that they were or are, you know. So chasing money, uh, developing a new skill. You know, it's just like when you go get your CDL, if you can, it's always good to not be restricted because you don't want to be restricted because you can go anywhere, you know. So developing new skills and it was time to 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 step up and do something different. Okay, That's because you know like, a lot of these know? ladies, a, a lot of these, not just you, but a lot of these ladies out here stepping up, uh, stepping up to the flatbed gang. You know, they, they, I mean, you know, like I said, me personally, I always say that flatbed is a young man's job, and I always looked at flatbed as you know as a man's job. But you ladies out here, y'all, y'all, y'all doing the damn thing, y'all showing that y'all can get out here and, and, and throw them straps too. So definitely I, I, before we continue, I want to shout out, uh, Hey Pink Baby, because she, to me, she was the first one that I saw that came on, uh, that, that came on social media showing that, uh, that, that she was doing the damn thing flatbed. So shout out to her. Um, but for you, 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 you decided to, you know, mm. the the give the the try your hand at at flatbed. Um, with a lot of flatbed companies out there, um, you got TMC, you got Rail, uh, uh, Melton, uh, 
and a couple of others. Um, to me, um, I feel that Maverick, out of all of them, has the best securement training mm -hmm. as far as mm -hmm. as far as getting you guys ready and prepared for you know prepared for the role with uh with flatbedding but come to find out from you that maverick is a little bit more stricter than than what people think it is so mm -hmm. uh you you mentioned that they that they sent you home for frivolous uh for a frivolous reason get us caught up from the time you actually got there to the time that someone told you that they had to send you home oh uh, well you know start out the typical decent company they put you in a rental car you know you communicate as an adult you communicate back and forth you know i didn't pick the rental car up at 8 a.m or pick up later i got out here they had the hotel room set up you know everything was prepared um you know things like that so it wasn't that big with fuss and getting here they keep they worry about me get, getting here um and then once i was here you know they was like you know this is a class and you know when they said about, about certain policies you know um they don't want to see you talk on the phone inside the building um they don't want to see you sitting around sharing sharing nothing your phone with a group of people while you're sitting there inside um, and things like that, you know, horse playing, you know, the regular basic stuff that you go through when you go through most companies when you're sitting there finding a job, you know. Um, so everything was pretty much, you know, what they said it was going to be, right? But, you know, their policies were stricter as far as we talk about the reason why they put me home, but their policies were a lot stricter, like really, period. You know what I'm saying? um than what most companies i've ever dealt with you know um then the whole thing about they were changing trucks around they were moving the arms out on the trucks all together they're, people that if you're for all of you that they, they plan on going to maverick they're slow having it to where they're getting rid of the mirrors on the outside and they put mirror stuff on the inside of the truck huh so they went through like a whole yeah they went like a whole process and talking about that Oof. And things like that. And if you are going through that school, they're not they know they're not teaching on manuals, you will have a restriction. To not have a restriction is not even an option. You know, most you know, most CEO schools give you the option to test out. Most of them some some of them still do, you know. Uh even though most carriers are going automatic. So if you come into Maverick, you will have a restriction to have nothing but automatic. Okay, if nah, I'm not mistaken, win. wait, wait, are are you insinuating that Maverick is a is a CDL school as well? Yes, Maverick is a CDL school. Oh, okay. Yes, it is. Oh, okay, okay, Maverick okay. So, so yeah. if you don't have your CDLs, uh, you can go to Maverick to get your CDLs. Yes, yeah, but you in order, and all that kind of stuff. but it's it's going to be it's going to be restricted because they don't have no manuals to test out of. Excuse me. I happen to be passing. I thought you'd might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. No, you, you will have a restriction if you plan on going. I mean, if you plan on coming after you hear what I have to say, and you just just know that. Um, okay. And they also are doing a new thing that they're getting rid of the mirrors on the outside of their truck. So the, wait, that's wait, slowly coming to transmission, too. How? I, I, you know, it's funny. I've seen a few videos with with those digital, those so-called digital mirrors that, you know, they got the cameras on the outside. Yeah, they yeah, got the it. cameras out, uh, outlined on the, all, you know, on the truck. They got a camera in the back. They got two on the side. And then they got the one in the front. And, of course, the driver facing. But they're, they're, they're taking the mirrors off the doors and you're going to, and and you just gonna rely on the digital mirror, the the digital mirror? That don't make sense to me. That that's almost a distraction to me. If if I mean that's my opinion. I mm -hmm. I mean there's so much distractions inside the truck as it is, but the but to put digital mirrors. What if the cameras go out? 
Well, the way they explained it, uh, you know, with the electric, with the, with the electricity that it runs, then the, the truck won't start itself. That's how basic, that's how strong and how how strong the technology is running. So, they, you know, they was letting it be, they went through it to let it be known that however long you be at Maverick, you know, be prepared that you may be getting one of those type of trucks within a year or two. So they slowly are swapping those you know the regular type trucks out wow that i I, yeah i i don't know if i'm comfortable driving the truck like that i mean i mean i I mean if the mirrors on the inside of the truck i mean if the digital you know displays on the inside of the truck is fine but i still want my physical outside mirrors you know on the truck i I don't think i would be comfortable driving something like that without them yeah, another thing was was new to me for those of you that's watching. If you still plan on going anyway, uh, is that there is no pets on the truck, and I at that point I was lied to. I thought when I talked to my recruiter that there was a pet policy. When I got here, that's totally out. So if you have pets, that'd be absolute no coming to Maverick. What's what's their truck governing that? Did they tell you? I think it says sixty six. <laughs> Slow, slow trucks. They take yeah. they 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 taking away the. I I don't know. I just feel like, even though they got a good securement training, I I just feel like yeah. that that they they. Big brother is just watching all over you with this company. Did mm-hmm. do you get the feeling? Uh. From that, yeah. within the from the couple of time, I mean, from the little bit of time that you was there, like, yeah, I can't like, like, literally, like, I mean, they restrict. They, it, it's like, it's like you're the professional driver. You, you went through, you, you went through, you know, months. You paid all that money to get your license and everything, only to come to a company that treats you like a kid. Yes, that's that's exactly true. Like how the feel. That's you. You took the segment right out of my mouth. That's exactly how I feel in this moment. I really, really do. I got like excited. You know, Maverick is one of the top top five schools. If you're trying to get into open deck and switch off from what you're doing, you know, I'm coming from Van and Reefer. You know, I've done Van Reefer container uh, and things like that. Done a little bit of fractions just for small man. Yeah, y'all saw me go through that. For those who've been rock, rocking for a while, so I wanted to go to one of the top five schools, and that was Maverick. But I mean. I mean, I understand being strict because you want people to be careful, but then there's a thing that just things just not called for. Do you understand? That's what it feels like for me. I mean, that's your rules, it's your place, but it just feel like that shouldn't be what you be extreme strict on to me. Mm. You know what I mean? Now let's get on to All right. you know, how I so, got sent home. So uh what happened? Why why did they why did they send you home, Shake? They sent me home for me being on my phone. Not in the I'm gonna say this for, for people I'm not in the middle of class answering and talking on the phone while they're in the middle of a class, which is you know it's totally disrespectful period, any job or classroom period that you're in. Me holding my phone, looking through it and going through it while I was sitting waiting for the doctor. Mm. So you, you know how when they sit you, you know how they sit you in that line. Like I did the whole DOT. I got a piece of my hair cut out. Y'all seen me go through it before? Chomped out a piece of my hair out. Out my damn head, right? Wow. I did the P. I did the I. Wait, the wait, wait, wait. Hold, 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 hold up. They, 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 they sent you home before or after the 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 uh the DOT uh required after after. So they cut your hair and then after that they sent you home like you got a you got yeah. a whole plug in your hair right now yes well half of a I, my hair is in braids so i took down one of my braids and she took off like half an inch of wow. the ends of my hair yeah. okay so you so, so so you so okay so from what i'm hearing is is all this is in house? Like, did you did y'all go? Yeah, it's, it's, it's oh, in house. So, it's in house. So all this is in house. The drug test, the the DLT physical yes. is all in house. Yes, sir. So you're waiting 
uh, along with other drivers, I guess in the hallway, I'm going to assume, uh, somebody, some, what, the instructor just came in the hallway and just say, hey, um, we're going to have to send you home. How did that work? No, 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 no. We'll, you know, we sit there, so we've been going through the cycle because, you know, it's like so many of us there. You know, you have to wait in line for the P, wait in line for the hair follicle, wait in line for the eye, eye exam, wait in line to talk to the nurse. Then you have to go sit and wait, talk to the doctor, right? So I went through all of that. I'm sitting over there with the rest of the guys. We have the, all the chairs are right there next to each other, right? Uh, so you obviously have a problem with us talking to each other, obviously. So in that time, I pulled out my phone. And I did go look on my email. I did check my messages. I did get on the Instagram for a minute. But I did not give my phone to anybody else. I did not call nobody. I didn't put my phone to my face at all. I didn't have my earplugs in my ear. I did not you, talk on the phone. You at was all. just you was just passing the time. Yeah, basically. Pass the time waiting. Okay, it don't take a while. That. It's like it's like I, I don't baby. I, I don't see nothing wrong with that. I mean, you 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 passing the time. You you're not you're not on the phone talking, you just passing the time on your phone. Okay, so you get back to the 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 orientation. Uh, uh, a school or 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 classroom, you go to sit down and then what? Then I sit there for a minute. Then one instructor come in, and actually step to the back in the office, and him and a lady is brought in. I don't know who she is, right? It's just been a witness that's still letting me go. And he said, "Well, we talked about people using their phone," and I said, "Yeah," and he was like, "Well." You had your earplugs in your ear, sitting there waiting for a doctor. And I say, like, even if, even if it was true, I'm not engaging nobody else around me in a distraction. And I'm not allowed to talk about what well, my earplugs weren't even in my ear. He's really made that up sitting there talking, you know, to me. And so earplugs in my hand the whole time. The phone been in my hand the whole time. You know, I didn't even call nobody. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the whole entire process, going through the whole DLT physical, right? Oh, he said, well, you, you were seeing your plugs in your ear. You were sitting down on your phone. I said, yeah, I can't be on my phone. He said, well, you expressed that you can't be on your phone. I said, but I showed you my phone when you pulled us out of the damn classroom and we first started the DOT process. I showed you my phone in my hand. Let, let me, let me, let me bring that back. Like, I understand. Oh, okay. I, I understand the severity and the seriousness of 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 the phone situation i understand that you know you want to make sure that your drivers are safe uh make sure that you know that they adhere to the to what i'm listening to the strict phone policy so not only that the strict phone policy is 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 adhere to the truck but we're we, we trying to make a strict phone policy while you're in the building during orientation and i'm and i'm trying to understand that child it's uh, i guess you can't use your phone absolutely not whatsoever which i think is silly you want us to sit there from six in the morning to five in the evening really that's how the hours are supposed to go and don't ever use our phones that's, you know, I never don't look at our, our phones and check out our phones at all. Well, I think that's silly. Well, you, you know, know, since you since you put it that way, you know, that they want you there from six in the morning to whatever, like eight hours or something like that. You figure you're going to be 11 hours in the truck. So the, I, I, I guess they want to correlate that. But. I mean, if you on your break. Like. If you're on your 30 minute break in your truck, you you go to the truck stop, you pull over, you you post up in the truck stop, you on your 30 minute break, you go on your phone. You mean to tell me I cannot go on the phone on my break? That is my time. Or at least I'm thinking that's my time. So would they telling you that you can't go on the phone while you're on your break in a room by yourself? Not bothering nobody, they telling you that you still can't be on the phone 
while you on a break in a room by yourself? <laughs> yeah, <like. laughs> help yeah, me with, they help saying, me with that. That's what they said. A dude came in the room while you there by yourself on a break while everybody else is going to eat shit, whatever, but they get a 30 minute break. Dude came in the room and said, you can't be on the phone. Okay. Uh, wait, 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 wait. A, a, a grown man telling a grown woman that you can't be on the phone. No, you cannot. Not at least inside their building. Not, not. And I could understand. I, 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 I could even understand if it was actual dialogue. I'm actually on the phone talking to someone, but I cannot scroll in my own phone. You know? Do, do you understand what I'm saying? How can I scroll in my own phone while I'm sitting waiting? That's you. That you. That damn strict. So that was you the know? first. So that was the first, and then. I guess somebody must have must have peeped around the corner and and saw you while you just sitting there waiting for your uh what your your your, your physical this is what it is yeah and you this, just this is the part to see a doctor the, I've, I've done everything else just waiting to see the you passing the time yeah. was was this let me ask you this see this is the disconnect between drivers and recruiters. Was hmm. this explained to you prior to you coming in through the recruiter? No. No. I didn't you know you couldn't even bring no pet. I I didn't know you couldn't even bring a pet in. I thought you could bring your dog with you. And that turned out not to be true. Wow. So they they came out or they they brought you in the room. They of course they have to have a witness. They brought you in the room. Now, now since they said uh, you know, since they rejected you, now now it's time to figure out how to how to leave. Now, some companies, I'm not sure, we about to find out, but I know some companies don't get you back home. What's the situation? with you is they going to get you back home or what's the deal okay i had one damn option one option only right now like i said they put me out here on a rental car from houston right they were not gonna put me on the plane or get me in a rental car the only option i had was get back on a damn bus from little rock arkansas to fucking houston which wow. i'm not going to do that wow. you know let me if i was leave, if i was to leave today if i was to leave today I would make it to Houston until Friday night if I would do the Greyhound. Wow. They they went all out for you, got you a rental car, got you a got you a place to stay. But you're not even leaving. Like you're not even leaving on your own fruition. You 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 they they, you know, they forced you out. So they not gonna come out of the pocket of getting you back home safe? They're gonna put you on a bus. Yeah. The bus ticket was the only option that, that was available. Nah, we nah, we 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 not going that option. See that's <laughs> we we not going that I, I when I when that option was was presented to me when I was with US Express when they when they went and done me, nah, nah. Get putting me on a bus was not gonna be that option. And it is it is freaking crazy. That they that they literally, literally just pretty much said, fuck you. We're gonna take the cheap route to get you back home. Or let me rephrase that. We don't care how you get back home. You just gotta leave here. Yeah. See well, people. Was like, what? See people. Listen, people. This is what I keep stressing this. And I don't understand why you guys keep letting these TikTokers talk you into that bullshit. That talk about, oh, well, they can get you back home. You don't need to bring no money with you. You don't need to have to worry yeah. about that. I keep telling y'all, you need to bring your money. You need to have a credit card. And you need to pack light. You need to pack <laughs> light. <laughs> I keep telling y'all that. Because if for whatever reason, you know, in, in, in Shape World's case. Excuse me. 
I happened to be passing, and I thought you might like some coffee. Oh, that's very nice of you. Thank you. It's, it's, a, it, it's such a frivolous reason. It's such a frivolous I, I, I've been driving on going on six fucking years. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And... I never have I experienced it. So I'm not for actually talking and being on my phone, but actually scrolling in it while I'm waiting. To like see you something. wasn't even even well, you you wasn't even on the phone or disrupting the class or anything yeah. of that matter. You was just yes. you was just in there on situations of either the time was yours or you're passing the time. So that's baby, wow. Baby, that's that's baby. crazy. So that's treating somebody guys, like a fucking child. See my guys, friends, y'all. That's like a fucking kid, really. Guys, just know that Maverick is going to treat your butt like a 10-year-old when you get up in there. <laughs> just know that. And y'all better bring some money. Y'all better have a credit card. And I'm not talking about a debit card. I'm talking about a credit card. Because they're not going to put you on a plane. They're not going to give you a car back. And they're definitely not, and they're definitely not going to do nothing else to care about you getting back home safe they're gonna put you on a greyhound like if your butt is all the way you you down in arkansas okay arkansas (laughs) i'm all the way up in the northeast in ohio bro don't you know if i was to catch the bus down there i would be down there like next week bro you know how many how how many layovers that you got to do you got to get all your stuff if you if you didn't pack light. You got to get all your stuff off and then put it on another bus. And hopefully that you not didn't leave anything behind. <laughs> so y'all better y'all y'all better pack light. I'm just saying, pack light and and make sure y'all have some money with you because they mm-hmm. and, and and even with that, even with that it's it's kind of good that you find all that out now because, I mean, what else? What else underlying uh stuff that 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 they don't want you to do or or you gonna get caught well doing? Uh, for those for those for those else what I found out for those of you that want to come and just jump on because you get, you get excited like you know, um. If you want to get on the boat in the class division, being a company driver, there is four stretch. There is no, there is no, when you OTR, there is a little wiggle room for you wanting to go certain places or do certain loads. When you are on glass or boat over there, which is what Maverick does, if you don't know, uh, Marines boat for Maverick. I didn't know they even did boat, so I got there. It is forced dispatch, and you will have to go in and out of Canada when they need you to. Okay, so that's how that goes. If you're thinking you're going to go to Maverick and just run glass and stay regional, that's not going to happen. They stress they they stress that more than once on the first, second, and third day. I want to ask you something. In your own personal opinion, do you think that they're just for sending me home? In your, your, own, your, own, your own personal life, do you feel like yeah, Maverick is is the top notch best company, and yeah. Okay, so to answer your question, I, you know, I, I I don't know, I don't know. I mean, you know, companies have their have their funny ways, you know, have their funny ways. I mean, I I I personally would like to know all of that going in. I wouldn't have, I probably wouldn't have wasted my time if if I knew that they was that strict, you know what I'm saying? I mean, if I, I mean, but if it's something that, if it's something that I, that I was pursuing and everything and I didn't know, I didn't know all the gist and you just came to me and just been like, yo, we sending you home because you know, uh, we, we don't want you on the phone. Well, why you didn't, why, why you didn't, why you didn't explain that in the beginning? Like you, you said, that we can't be on the phone. So I, I took that as, you know, yeah. not, you know, not being on the phone, yeah. talking to somebody type yeah. deal. You know what I'm saying? That's what I took that as. And, and in orientation anyway, I'm not going to be, you know, looking on my phone or, or answering any calls or anything like that, because I'm in orientation unless it's, 
unless if it's an emergency. And then I will turn around and be like, excuse me, I I I have to excuse get up and myself. Walk out. You know, yeah, and I will walk, walk out. out. But you know, but you you telling from what you telling me is I can't I, I can't even be on my phone doing my lunch break. It's crazy. I, I can't be on my phone in the hallway while waiting for uh waiting waiting to be called next or anything like I'm a mm -hmm. grown ass man, bro. Like, come on now. Wow. Well, man. So that's how it was with you when when you you reached out to him? Like you I mean you called yeah, and you, you had to yeah. Yeah, I mean I, my application was gonna stand still for like a whole two weeks because somebody else took my application over. Wow. That's crazy. Have you let me ask yeah. you this? Well, have you did your research as far as getting in the flatbed, but did you talk to any drivers? Um, as far as research goes, you know, I have drivers that I talk to that are in open debt. Um Right, which they have been trying to encourage me for years to get out of a van. But, I mean, I thought Maverick was the place to be. You know what I mean? Did you did you talk to, did, did you ever get a chance to talk to any of their drivers or anything like that or no? Um, Briefly. Briefly to one. But not, was that not before, no was that, no. was that before or after you got with the orientation? Uh, before. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Shape, um, wow. Uh, thanks for the, uh, th thanks for the, uh, update. Thanks for sharing your experience, uh, with, uh, with Maverick. Sorry that that had happened to you. Um, there, don't, don't let that discourage you because there are other, uh, flatbed company, flatbed training companies out there. You still got the likes of Melton. You still got the likes of TMC, uh, Rail. Um, you know, you got you 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 got those. You you know, you still got those companies out there. Uh, hopefully they're not as strict. I guess. Uh, maybe um. Maybe maybe this is a learning experience. I mean, what what did you learn out of this, if anything? Um, you know, not to get my hopes up, number one, because I don't think I really did a whole lot that was wrong. You know, unless you go to USU you or your fam gonna tell me tell me something different, but not just to get my hopes up. You know, fam, in trucking, for those that's gonna watch this on replay, you can't put y'all to these companies. These companies don't care nothing about you. You're there to get from them, and they there, and you're and you're, there, and you're there for them to get from you. That's how you have to look at it in 2023. You cannot put these companies up on a damn pedestal. You know what I mean? You know that's why I've never boasted about no that company since Wolf. You know what I'm saying? I very much learned my lesson. So, um, just y'all yeah, already know what my goal is for those of you that rock with me. So we gonna keep on working at that. You know. All right. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Well, um, you know, make sure you keep your phone in your pocket. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, all right, well, that's it, man. That that's that's it. People, if y'all interested in going into Maverick, just just know of uh, of the extent of the phone uh the phone policy, I guess. Um yeah. <laughs> I guess. I guess. All right. <laughs> Big cheese got it locked. What you want?